Chris, Gabby, uh, you played your um, Denmark Open finals opponents um, on your way to uh, winning a second European gold. Uh, that was mightily close then. Um, after securing the, uh, the first game here, uh, uh, what, what was different? Um, I think we brought a really good intensity um, in the first uh, game. Um, I think we, we did drop our intensity a little bit and obviously the Germans played really well. And the second two sets um, gave them a little bit too many easy mistakes and obviously you can't afford to do that on a, against a well-playing pair. Um, they they um, ran away with the, uh, the third game, but it's been a, a tricky tournament and a learning process for a lot of players who have had a, a tough time sort of getting a, a proper training in. Uh, what have you learned from this week with uh, sort of where your form is? Um, not loads, to, to be honest. It's um, obviously the first tournament in a long time, so there were some really odd results from, from day one, which was obviously always going to happen. Um, so and obviously learning about how tournaments are potentially going to be like for the for the time being in the short term. So that was obviously a learning curve. But um, yeah, we've been playing this sport a long time now, so we know our levels there. It's just obviously about bringing that intensity and like doing it on the day. Unfortunately, we're just a little bit inconsistent this whole week, but. I suppose expected when you've not competed for seven months. So uh, you guys are not going to the uh, the Sala Looks Open. Is the next thing that you're going to focus on? Um, is it the the Asian legs um, come early next year? Yeah, yeah, we'll be there in, in Asia in January. Perfect. Thank you very much, and all all the best of luck. Thank you.